Hey guys, we're live. We're live. So, we are going to where the fun is. Right now we're in Lompoc. We're going to head to La Purissima uh, Mission. Araceli's getting some stuff at the store. But uh, this is the star uh, documenting kind of our trip this weekend. Are you guys excited? Yeah. So excited. It'll be awesome. After you see us, stay put. Mission. Yeah. All right. What are you gonna do? Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. Yeah. Where the fun is? Yes. We're only like okay. All right. Let's go. <laughs> it's still live. So. This is the visitor center. The mission's down the hill. There's no school. We'll, we'll tune back in when we get over to the mission. What's the sign say? Sentiment. Sentiment. Cemetery, Cemetery El Tom Campo Santo. One cross stands in memory of the early Californians who were buried in the cemetery. So yeah, so there's a whole bunch of people buried here. Probably tons like here and there and there. All over. It's just not marked. And then there's a bell tower at the back entrance there. What's it say? The design and size of La Prisima's original belfry. belfry is unknown. The uppermost bell is carved from wood. The placement of wooden bells was common so the mission could purchase a bronze bell. That's cool. So let's go through that other opening. soap baths. What do you see here? Huh? What do you see? Um, see? See trees. <laughs> so cool. So what's cool about the cemetery is well, and because it's not the Catholic Church Cemetery anymore, you don't have people still being buried there. Yes. Oh, look it. This is oh, where the Mission Padres taught the Chumash Indians how to make soap from beef, tallow, and lye. Oh, that's and this drained the, the wastewater from the vat. And what's that up there?
more drains. This is the tallow vats. So this is where they would melt the beef fat, which would be used to make soap, candles, and cook with. Pretty cool. Benches over there. Um, this already shows a lot. It shows the guy who kind of hosted all these right there. Some of those information. We have all the different um, things that they have. You know, that they do. This was one of many of these that were relocated and rebuilt after the 1812 earthquake. Mm. It's got some cool art. Confession booth, look at that. Don't go. <laughs> In church? Yeah. Wow, that's kind of cool. Would you like to buy some holy water? More. So, uh, right yeah. now, we are in your soldier. Would probably, um, you know, live. Yeah. And, um, you know, so you have to think that's married. So the Department of a Mary Soldier stationed on Spain's New World Frontier contained very few luxuries. By that, they mean this would, would be their room. Um, what do you see in there? A bed with wood planks. You got the kid's bed. You got a little stuffed animal right there, which is totally not creepy. <laughs> you got a cross and um, a little drawer, I believe. Yeah. That was really Yes, yes, I swear. We, we saw a ghost. It's the truth. What? We saw a ghost. Well, we didn't see it. We heard it. We were in the room, and um, there was like something moved. There was a no. It wasn't a gun. It was uh, where they had the um, like a saddle, and so someone shook the saddle. But there was nobody there. We were the only ones in that room, and it was because I had joked that we were old and that we like this goofy stuff, and like an old dog can learn new tricks, and then that. Really yeah, that's so happy. There's such a ghost in there. But this area is known for paranormal activity and oh, yeah. ghost hunters, all of that has filmed here. There's no such thing as ghosts, though. Yes, so, there is. I swear. No, and they know that my mom were like antsy, so I think they were just like scared of crap. Construction. Leather straps. Adobe walls. Because they know that we. I've watched every single episode of Buzzfeed. I'm What's the next one yeah. room down? Yeah. Every true crime episode. The only one I haven't watched is the uh, case of OG Simpson, because that one was really boring and not so bad. All these missions have gigantic trees in them. That's cool. Why would it be the happiness of the Oh, 
we got in here? More ghosts. Oh no, those things are gonna rattle and it's gonna make music. It's gonna go. Can't see it. Oh, look, they're making candles in there. I couldn't see it though. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Uh, what's this room? The candle making room. Also known as the Cuarto para fabricar velas. We keep this one a bit darker and cooler because, you know, candles. That would have been, they would have put a fire down there and had some sort of cauldron. What would they do over here? I don't know. This is where they hang people? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. No, it's people? not the gauntlet. It's, it's hard, hard to tell now what you, all the different you uses think you were. Could put your head in that. They loosen it. How the heck are you supposed to know, Michael? It's too thick. Not a gauntlet. A gauntlet's where you just cut someone's head off. No. Lots more. What else? Let's see. What's this one? Oh, cool. The Master Weaver's apartment. A skilled craftsman taught the Indian spinning and weaving. As a manager of the missions of the industry, he'll work for room board and a small salary. You see, if you guy's got a nice spinning wheel. But everybody had their stove for their kitchens. No, stop it. Alright, keep moving. Let's see, what's the next room? Mom's looking. Stop looking at him. It's not even that scary. Yes, it is. Aha, this is the uh, Mayor Domo's apartment. He was the wow. ranch manager. Oh, wow. He was living in a high life here. Heck right? yeah. He had a nice bed. Dang, he had an even ballin'. level floor. Who's this guy? He's balling. Look at that. He had furniture. He's Can't a baller. Really <laughs> he was the apartment look, manager. Look, there's also his kitchen. Oh, and look at it. He had a fancy cocina across the way. Hey, Ben, goes up there. Why don't you move those? Uh, oops. How about that? So see, his family enjoyed imported dishes and high quality foods. I'm just go there. Watch him move those. Oh, look at that. Fancy. He had good, like, dishes and cutlery. How about you move that green apple? Should we start that on Instagram? Hey, guys, if there's any ghosts in here, move that green apple. Stop it. All right. Moving right along. This, the carpenter's shop. I think in here they do carpentry. <laughs> How could you move one of those uh, wood planks? No such thing as ghosts. Exactly. No, just you move one of those wood planks. Please. This is cool. We got some old beams here from that. Inside the machine. I know. If one of them knew something, well, that call me when I'm out here. Like that. I'm not going to do that. But right now, I see nothing. Alright. Moving right along. Shop. 
Holy cow. Oh my gosh. There's cool stuff in here. So you got these, uh, these things that are called those spinning things. And you got fabric. Oh, we can walk around it. Look at this. The weaver machinery. Pretty nifty. Why do you cover these ones up? I don't know. It's pretty cool though. You got the kinds of materials that <laughs> cotton and whatnot. Satisfying the ASMR. Pretty cool. We are in a top 10 most hot places in California. Yes! 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 We were yes! In the room. And I myself have five experiences. Oh, tell us. Can we tell us? Can we tell us? Can we tell us? Can I tell you? Yeah. If you don't mind. Yes, 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 yes. Somebody's happened before, so I work near though, and that yeah. was in high school. Come here, yeah. screw around at nighttime. Yeah. A lot of people do it. You know? Yeah. We can't officially close the park. Right. So people can come on in whenever they want. Yeah. So my first one actually happened when I was in elementary school. Uh -huh. I was coming here with a bunch of my friends, and my dad was. Um, pretty much gather all the kids from the school, or well, uh -huh. my class anyway. I take them out here, let them run around, spend burn energy, much to the appreciation of the moms. Yes. <laughs> and on the far end over there, where the uh, room card, the cartel room, uh -huh. where the soldiers sleep, all the rifles on the walls and all that. <gasps> that's oh, where we were at. <laughs> okay, that's where I have my first one. <laughs> and yeah. personally, I think it's my most dramatic one. Me, because I was, I don't know, like maybe 10 or 12 or something. Uh, but me and, two, um, and about six people were there, including my dad. And uh, we're looking at the room, most of them leave the room, and aside from me and two of my friends, we all hang out there, we all the bars, looking at the rifles on the walls, and this is kind of cool. Yes. We stopped talking and started looking for maybe two minutes, and we hear yelling, but that's uh, not uncommon here, we all the time, but it got a little louder, people, and it sounded like they are a little frantic, and we couldn't tell what the language was, which I, I believe was Spanish, because I don't speak Spanish. Right. And uh, they feel the ground shake a little bit, like an earthquake. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at each other, like, what's going on? And the moment we hear glass break, then we start freaking out around the room everybody else but when we got there um we asked what was going on and they had no clue what they, we were talking about so it wasn't anything. so they didn't feel anything hear anything none of that no it, it was in that rifle room where we experienced it that's probably, a pretty probably, common place it's like jail was also connected to that room as well okay so that's probably yeah the and i was like joking rooms. around i was like you know i'm like a nerd or whatever and that's when like <laughs> It like to definitely got well, wanted to I've get our attention. To the other room like that that room though, so that's where you had your experience too. Mm -hmm. Have you ever that's seen my someone? First one. Sorry. Have you ever seen someone? I'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> I have not seen <laughs> yeah. uh, an apparition to the point where it looked like a like a Indian yeah. or a person from back in the day. But my last story will have one. Yeah. I'll have five this year. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah. And um, but I don't think I can reassociate what happened to me the first time was back. When the Indians revolted here, the big slaughter and massacre of the natives and also a bunch of the Spanish. So I'm thinking the horses stampeding around people yelling right. and killing each other. Yeah. So that's what I think that was. My uh, next two, I think two or three, I think, no, I think probably two, but it happened here when I was in high school, as I mentioned. And uh, me and my family were coming over here, maybe the middle of the year, we didn't want to do homework, you know. Yeah. Let's go play out the mission, it'll be fun, it's dark. And so we show up. And we're just about to cross the bridge over there in the far end of the corral over there. And we hear footsteps along the DG pathway, the crunching and people talking. So, hey, let's hide in a bush real quick. Let them pass. Because at the time, we didn't know we couldn't be out here or not. And we can. And uh, we should later poison oak. We'll find out that not yeah. a story. <laughs> <laughs> but um, behind a bush, like five, it seemed like ten minutes. Maybe it was just longer because it was dark out and we was waiting for it to go by. But no one passed through the bridge. And um, so we take a look around the corner and we don't see or hear anybody. The two little balls of light bounce along the pathway, so we go back in the bush again. But we think, you know, like those little flashlights about this big, about that wide, like a lit bomb. You see people's keychains sometimes. Those, you know what those are, right? Yeah. That's what we thought they were. Two people holding those. But they weren't really emitting any light or anything. They're just right. two little things bouncing along yeah. the pathway. But no one ever passed us, and the, the talking just stopped suddenly, and we think those are orbs. 
that I just saw. So there's that. The next one, I was coming out here and one of my friends, she likes ghosts, so she says she does. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I love them. <laughs> no, yeah, she, right. she wanted yeah, to right. like yeah. them, so yeah. she had a camera yeah. going yeah. through, trying to film everything yeah. to catch something, right? I brought her here to scare her. That was funny. Not very nice. But we're sitting over there at the bench, again, next to the corral, but the uh, kind of lone bench over there. It was kind of dark and uh, cloudy, a little windy night. It was kind of vain. We're not really want to be out here in the night. And, excuse me if I talk too fast. So, but we're looking this way towards yeah. the main church over there. And behind the church, you like, so, like someone lighting a fire and turning on and off, like someone's flicking, flickering, yeah. right? And actually, it stays lit and like flickers along the hills a little bit. And we're thinking to myself, okay, who's lighting a fire out here? <laughs> Let's go find out. So we kind of go again between the room where the soul group's asleep and the church, the little gap there. Go around the back side, try to find out what it was. But there's no light, no one there. Nothing. Nothing. And uh, we thought it was a ranger, but a ranger doesn't carry a literal torch. <laughs> wow. So that was the uh, third one. The next two happened when I was working here. This is actually one of my fi one of the like a little better than that. Um, it was kind of a calming, yeah. interesting experience. It was happening around 7 in the morning during the winter because it gets still pretty dark out. Yeah. Bathroom is out over there next to the bathrooms. Yeah. I was going out and open, unlocking the doors with the big skeleton keys in the morning. And I hear what sounds like like a bunch of women singing in like a short little choir for maybe three, four seconds and just yeah. stops. That no one's out here that early. So then who would be out here singing? Okay, that idea is a little bit scared. Oh, That's oh, kind of cool, cool though, but they were like singing like hymns and stuff, right? Sorry? Were they singing like hymns or something? Or? Something, but it was kind of like, um, I don't recall exactly what it sounded like, but kind of like that. Like maybe the, something you'd expect to hear in one of these yeah. from the, the chapel here or the church. Wow. But it was coming from behind our community kitchen over there, a little separate building. Wow. And, uh, you know, and I don't see why you want to be out here doing that that early in the morning. No, yeah. So, that was actually kind of nice. It was relaxing under like, the other yeah. ones in the Harrison, the Harrison I'm yeah. saying that, right? No, the one where we were in that room, it felt really dark. But you said that's because it was connected to the jail or the prison? Yes, actually, we have a uh, tour at 1, which is free. We'll take you a bunch okay. of these rooms that are closed off. So okay. You can better look at that. Well, Thank you so much for sharing. I knew yeah, it wasn't I had going two crazy. More if you want to hear. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to hear them. Uh, yeah. Seeing something. Yes. Yeah. The next two, I personally feel tied together, which is probably my most, uh, I guess you could say, hands on. Yes. Yeah. Was... But I was closing the rooms over here because uh, earlier in my career, we actually have some people closing the doors, and by now oh. they have the people with the tours closed in the front. Right. And I was closing the room over here, which next to our, um, what do they call I'm on here. I'm on here, yes. Yeah, it's what we translate into living room. Okay. There's a room right next to it to the left called the unfinished room, which will okay. show you how the walls are stripped down, how they make them. Yeah. And uh, after doing it for so long, I kind of mockingly ask, hello, is anyone yeah. inside here? Just because I have to make sure no one's in yeah. there, don't lock anybody in. And I uh, never got responses. So I was standing with my arm like this, looking inside and saying, to hello. Yeah. Just about ready to close the door, and I hear a voice respond to me. Mm -hmm. It seemed like underneath my arm, like about this tall, yeah. you see me standing. And I like, Looking down, what is that? I don't see anything, but I hear five quick footprints running around the back into the next room. And I have my hair standing on it, I'm like, I, I didn't see any, somebody yeah. here, right? So I close the door behind me, click on a light, look around, nobody's in the building. So there, like, you think it was a kid? It's like a little boy. About, let's say I'm, I'm like 6'1", so I'm holding the door like this. Yeah. And about this tall to me. Wow. And I, I didn't know yeah. what it was. And uh, the reason why I say this one and the next one are significant to each other because the last one I had was again when I was closing and uh, it was a little brighter out, it was the time of year. But I was on the far end next to the church over there. Uh -huh. I just finished closing the church in the cemetery and a couple of groups of people come up asking, hey, can we get in the building? Because I start up here, look yeah. this way. I guess they're following me, like a couple of rooms behind me because I kept locking the doors on them, yeah. they couldn't get in. <laughs> so they asked, hey, can we look in the church real quick? Sure. I open the door, let them in. It's a little dark, we don't have a bunch of lights in there. I said, um, just be careful. Someone pulled out their phone, took the flashlights, look around, some take pictures, and yeah. one of the families was kind of look, looking for ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> and I asked them, are you looking for ghosts? I'm like, yeah. And, and I, so I told them the same stories I'm telling you. But afterwards, they said, thank you for opening the door for them. I locked the door again, and I asked them a quick picture of the family next to the big uh, cottonwood tree over there. Uh-huh, oh yeah. And uh, sure. Mom gives me her phone, they all stand up, and there's five of them. Mom, two sons, um, a father, and a father's brother. The mom's front center, um, her oldest is right here standing next to her. Her youngest is right here holding onto her arm, smiling, and uh, the father's right here, and the brother's right here. You know, it's a nice picture. 
take five or six pictures of that, get back to the phone, and I'm on my way. I go around and wait for them at the front because the parking lot closes at five. I don't like walking people in, so I wait for them to leave. <laughs> and um, I see the family coming up. Most of them go to the car, but the mom and the two kids come running up to me um, relatively quickly. It's like, uh oh, someone lost. <laughs> And I meet them about halfway, and uh, they ask, is there anything special about that tree? And I tell them, as far as I know, it's a big ride out tree, you don't want to be underneath it too long. And uh, she pulls out her phone, she flips to, I think, the second or last picture and shows it to me. In the picture, it shows exactly how I took the picture, but um, with the kid that's pulling onto mom's arm right here, an exact duplicate of this kid, five paces to the left, in a different posture, staring, face at the, oh, sorry, staring straight into the camera with blank expression. And the kid was never over there during the course yeah. of me taking the pictures. Mm. And the kid was as tall as this when I opened the door. Oh, so I imagine that you. was yeah. got into the camera to show himself right here. Oh, it was a little boy. Is it a little it Indian a little boy? boy? Oh. Can you could you tell what it was like a little? I could not boy? tell. It was exact duplicate of the kid. <laughs> wow. And it was as clear as day. Nothing wrong with the camera. It was, it was a phone was, camera. Yes, yeah, so it's like like that. We need to send this to BuzzFeed. So it was pretty neat. And mom was freaking out, of course, and I probably shouldn't have said it. Yeah. But um, the kids were all excited, and they're yeah. leaving. So make sure I the right kid. <laughs> mom was pale, and like, oops. <laughs> yeah, no, that's so crazy. Well, thank you for sharing that. No problem. Talk I mean, there's us. a lot of different things around here. Look, guys, you have a bed back here. I always just mess up yeah. in the morning. I think that can be from new, numerous different reasons. Yeah. So that's kind of more popular things for the kids. But also right here in our ch um, chapel. A little display case in the back yeah. of the next room that people take pictures occasionally see like um about here up kind of a see-through indian sheaf like kind of goes yeah. of that in reflection and some things like that the only other story i can tell you is one from a co-worker who left a few months ago she worked here about 10 years you want to hear it real quick yeah heck yeah and i told you all about this one yeah so again in this building right here um after you go into oh it's called la sala the living room yeah yeah yeah, la sala. yeah. um you go through the back entrance, and take immediate left down a little dirt hallway. It goes to slave quarters on the right, in the far back end, like a wine cellar. And as she said, she never had a good feeling about that hallway, so she always avoided it. We had to clean it, and always made me do it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. But um, so one day, her mother and her niece came to visit her at work, and uh, during lunchtime, she gave them a little tour. And when they got to that part of the tour, her and her mother started walking down just fine, but her niece was a little bit of um. Uh, a little autistic, so she can't yeah. speak super well. Yeah. And uh, she got to that room, she, oh sorry, the hallway, she stopped, went around the corner, just like, uh, 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 you know, not want to go down yeah. there. And the mom, I guess, I guess she was a little short tempered, so she's like, come on, let's go. He grabbed her arm, like, ushered her down the hallway. But about halfway ish down the hallway, there's a lantern hanging from over there, and about there, she got close as she could to the wall, stepped over something, and hurried back to hide behind the lady that worked there. Like, she was cornered or something. And seeing how she was reacting, later, later go back because she was obviously scared of the hallway of some sort. So again, she went back to the same spot, tipped over something on the floor they couldn't see, and ran out of the room saying, uh 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 uh. And uh, so at that point, she said, okay, what's up with this hallway? She went and did some research into it and found out someone was murdered there X amount of years ago. <laughs> and somehow the little girl can see it. Oh. <laughs> that is so freaky! <laughs> Okay, well that is pretty cool. Well, thank you. No problem. Thank you. And that, that's a cool. So has Ghost Hunters or any of those shows ever come here? Ghost Adventures did come here. I think it was a little bit bogus though because they showed yeah. things like dogs barking in this building yeah. a little bit here actually. Yeah. And I think, okay, if I'm going to be very, uh, I don't know, what's the right word here? You know, people say animals don't have souls. Yeah. How could the dog be there barking? But whatever, they showed up. It was kind of cool. There was an episode on it, so then. Oh. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. Well, we'll have to look for it. Thank you so much. No problem. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. We can put this vlog venturing a top 10 scariest place in America. Yeah, I think it's all that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That was so cool. I love state range. Let's title the video. so Let's title the video Top 10 Scariest Places. In the, we visited one of the top 10 scariest places in the video.